So guys, for the first method, you wanna head over to search and type in File Explorer Options. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna click on the View tab. Now you wanna select Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. Select this and then click on OK. And then once you do that, now we're gonna head over to search again and type in File Explorer. Click on it. And now once you're on this, on the left hand side, you wanna scroll down and click on this PC. Now you wanna find a drive that has Windows installed on it. It's gonna have the Windows logo on it. That's how you know it's the correct one. You wanna double click on it. And then click on Windows. And then scroll down till you find Service Profiles. Here it is, double click on this. Double click on Local Service. Now you wanna double click on App Data. And then click on Local. And then click on Microsoft. And now once you're on this, you should have an NGC folder. You wanna right click on it. And then click on Properties and then click on security, and then click on advanced. And now this will come up. And now once we're here, you wanna click on change. Now you wanna type in your computer username. If you do not know it, then you wanna head over to search and type in File Explorer, click on it. And now once you're on this on the left hand side, you wanna scroll down, click on this PC, and then click on your Windows drive, and then click on users, then it should be showing right here. My username is Speedy Tutorials. Just gonna type that in. Click on check names and then click on OK. And now once we're here, you want to select replace owner on subcontainers and objects and then click on OK and then click on yes. And now once we're here, you want to double click on NGC. If you have anything in this folder, you want to delete it. So you want to delete everything in this folder. Then you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. And now for the second method, you want to head over to search and type in edit group policy. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to look under Computer Configuration, you want to expand Administrator Templates. Now you want to expand System. Now you want to click on the Logon folder. Scroll down and then click on Logon. Now you want to find Turn on Convenience Pin Sign-In. This one right here. Double click on this. Set this to Enabled. And then click on OK. Now you just want to restart your computer. And then the problem should be fixed.